to another Growing Brilliant live activity class. Hi, everyone. Hi, welcome. Thank you for being here. As always, I'm going to give a minute or two to allow our friends into the room. But as you log on, go ahead and head over to the chat and let me know your little one's name. Let me know if this is your first time here or if you're returning and you've been to our activity classes before. I would love to take a minute to try and say hello to some of you. Hi, see some friends coming in now. Hi, everyone. Hi, I'm Miss Jenny. I'm a teacher here at Growing Brilliant Online Preschool. And I'm so excited to do this live activity class with you today. Again, as you log on in, please head over to the chat. Let me know your little one's name. Let me know if you're returning or this is your first time here. And I'll do my best to try and say hello to most of our friends today. Hi, Jane. Welcome back. Thank you for returning. Hello, Ms. Jenny. Hello. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited for our lesson today. We're going to continue with our theme of on the go. For those of you who were here last week, we did on the go on land, but today it's a little different. Hi, Alyssa, welcome back. Carly at her first class today. Carly, I'm so excited to have you here. Welcome. I hope that you enjoy the activities that we have planned. Thanks for giving us a try. Second time, Chase is two and Ellie who is three. Thanks for returning. Hi, Chase. Hi, Ellie. Oh, this is so nice. So friends, the chat is a great way during the activity today to keep in communication, especially if you hit any road bumps or you have any questions, please let me know there and I'll do my best to address them throughout the activity. But also if there's moments for participation or your little one's excited about something and they want to share their thoughts, please head on over to the chat and put their thoughts there so that we can all engage together. Hi, Porter, welcome. First time for Amelia, who's four. Oh, you're so big. Hi, Amelia. Four is my favorite number. Aura, hi, Aura. And Porter and Caleb, so many friends. Oh, I'm so excited that you're all here today. So let's jump into the activity, shall we? Let me get this ready here. Excellent. So my name is Miss Jenny and I am a teacher here at Growing Brilliant Online Preschool. And I love doing these free activity classes with you every Wednesday at 9.30 Pacific Standard Time. So if you're returning, thank you for coming back. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the activities that we have planned. Let's start by going over some of the materials that you are going to need for class today. Now, one of the cool things about our program is when you enroll, all materials you need for our classes are shipped to your door. So you're never without anything. That's uh, one of my favorite things about us. But let's go over what you'll need, need today if you are participating at home. You are going to need a black sheet of paper, a yellow and white sheet of paper. Might be a little hard to see with the lights. There you go. Now, if you don't have these, just a normal piece of white paper is fine, but I'll be using these three colors today for our craft. You're also going to need some coloring utensils of your choice. I brought some markers, but you could certainly use crayons or colored pencils, whichever you prefer. You'll also need some scissors. And remember when we use scissors, we are so careful because we want to keep our body and our fingers safe. So if you are still working on your scissor skills, you can always have a grown up help you with the scissor portion of the activity. You're going to need a craft stick today, just one, unless you want to make multiple, but just one for today. If you don't have that, you can use a stick of paper too. It's okay. And we'll need white and yellow paint. Now, if you don't have the paint, we can just use our drawing utensils. We can get really creative here with whatever materials we have on hand. And lastly, you will need some glue or some tape. 
Okay, great job. So those are the materials. You can put them to the side for right now because I want to let you know a little bit about what we're going to learn about and do for today. So I'll let you know when it's time to grab those materials. Now, we are in the month of February and the month is quickly coming to a close. But this entire month, we've celebrated so many amazing things. We've celebrated the Winter Olympics, Black History Month, Valentine's Day, and then we jumped into our core theme that we're learning at Growing Brilliant Online Preschool, and that's on the go, where we're learning about all kinds of transportation, ways to get from here to there. Now, last week, we learned about transportation on land. And I asked you, how can we get from one place to another on land? And some of you said trains, cars, bus, bicycle, so many wonderful and creative answers. Today, we're going to focus on transportation in the sky. <gasps> so cool. But I want to ask you the same question. Can you think of some ways that people can travel in the sky? Hmm. This is a great time to head on over to the chat and let me know your little one's answer there. But of course, Teacher Jenny has magical listening ears. So you can shout out your answers at home too, and I'll be able to hear some of them. So what are some ways that we can travel in the sky? <gasps> I see in the chat some wonderful answers. I see a rocket ship. I see an airplane and a spaceship. These are fantastic answers. A rocket ship, an airplane, a spaceship are great ways of traveling in space, in the sky. So amazing. When I was younger, I thought it would be so cool to be an astronaut and get to go to space. A hot air balloon, what a great answer. A hot air balloon. Could you imagine a balloon so big it could carry you in the sky? That's amazing. I love these answers. Can we think of any more? What's another vehicle that flies in the sky. They can be helpful for firefighters. They can be helpful for hospitals. It starts with the letter H. I heard someone say helicopter. Yes, a helicopter is another way of traveling through the sky. Excellent. Hello, Harper. <laughs> I love all the engagement in the chat. Thank you, friends, for sharing your wonderful answers and thoughts with me. Now, today, we are going to focus on travel in space. And we are going to make some very cool moving <gasps> rocket ships. Do you see that? <gasps> Three, two, one, blast off. So today, we'll be making this craft here where you can create your own moving rocket ship. Let me show you on our little stick. But before we do that, I thought it would be fun to pretend that we are astronauts and move and sing a song. So we're going to stand up. I want you to find a safe space at home to move your body around. I'm just going to stand behind my chair but you go ahead and find a space where you can move freely and keep your body safe, okay? Now, I have a scarf today. I love the way ribbons look when I dance and do music. So if you brought one today or you brought an instrument to play along, you can go ahead and grab that too, but you don't have to have one. We're going to move our bodies a lot, okay? Now, I want us to pretend that we are astronauts. So I want to first show you a picture of an astronaut. This here, friends, 
is Guy Bluff Blufford, and he was an astronaut. And look at his super cool uniform. He's got this big zip-up jumpsuit and a big helmet. So cool with all of his patches on, one being NASA. So let's pretend that we are astronauts. So we need to get on the appropriate gear. Let's put on our big jumpsuits and put your arms in and zip them all the way up. So you're nice and cozy. Great. Now let's get our big helmets so that we can breathe in space. We're going to buckle them up and keep our head nice and safe. And attention all astronauts, please report to the rocket ship and prepare for blast off. Thank you. Did you hear that? We've got to get ready for blast off. So let's go run over. Come on, we've got to get to the rocket ship and get inside and buckle up. We want to put on our belt to keep us strapped into the rocket ship. Great. Astronauts, are you ready to learn our song? Great, me too. So follow along, we'll do it a few times and we are gonna pretend to blast off into outer space. Are you ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard the rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Now it's blast off time. I need you to count with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, blast off! Whoa! Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Twinkling stars are shining bright, shooting past us on our flight. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Yay! <laughs> Great job, astronauts. Okay, let's try it one more time. And this time, I want you to try singing along with me. Okay? Great. Buckle up again. We're getting ready. Attention all astronauts. Please report to spaceship and prepare for blast off. Thank you. We're ready to go. Buckle up. Helmets on. Nice and secure. Here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard the rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! Whoa, look around. What do you see? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Twinkling stars are shining bright, shooting past us on our flight. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Yay! Great job, astronauts. You did amazing. Look around. What do you see? 
What's out here in outer space? Do you see stars? Do you see different planets? Do you see the moon? So many amazing things to observe in space. Now, I'm going to share with you one more astronaut, and we are going to get ready for our activity and make our own rocket ships. So here's a really cool picture to give you another idea of what it might be like to be an astronaut. This here is Dr. May Jemison, and this is her in space. Do you notice that she is floating? Look at that. Did you know you could float in space? I wonder why that is. Now here she is and look, look at all the different devices that she has to control and understand in order to be an astronaut. Astronauts have to work really, really hard to be able to go to space. So we have all kinds of new ways of getting humans to space now. But this is a really big achievement to be an astronaut. I wonder if any of you would like to be an astronaut. Maybe let me know in the chat if you want to be an astronaut and get to go blast off into space, just like we saw some of the astronauts here. I love their uniform. So fun. Now, I want us to jump into our activity. So those materials that I mentioned before for us to make our moving blast off rocket ship, we're going to grab those now. So I'll give you just a second to gather your paper, your paints, and your coloring utensils. If you brought all of them, wonderful. If not, we can get creative with which, with uh, whatever way you would like to make today's activity. But I'm going to give you a general guide. So I'll give you just one moment to go ahead and gather those. While I do that, I will also let you know a little bit about our program. So we are an online platform with classes for ages two through six years of age. So pretty vast range. And our classes are hands-on. They are interactive, engaging. And you might think, how? How can you make virtual preschool so fun? We do. <laughs> our curriculum is ever-changing. We have fun monthly themes. Like I mentioned, when you enroll, we ship all the curriculum you need um, materials to do the activities to your house. So you're never left without any materials. And we have the most amazing preschool teachers. What's really fun about our platform is that there is face-to-face -face interaction with the teacher and the student and also student to student. So there's peer interaction as well. Um, so you're getting that social engagement as well as all the intellectual uh, stimuli as well. So if you are at all interested in trying out our program, we offer a free trial class. And we're also running a promo right now, two weeks for 22. Two, 22, get it? <laughs> so if you'd like to take advantage of that, you have to enroll by May 15th. But reach on out to our admissions team. We'll keep a link here as well. And we'd love to hear from you and have the opportunity to spend some more time with your little one. Either way, we'll continue doing these free activities every Wednesday at 930 Pacific Standard Time. So I hope if you're having fun that you return and that we get to see more of you here. OK, now I'm going to shift my camera down so that you can see my workspace and that will give you an easier way to follow along. So give me just one second, please. While I switch the camera, thank you. And there we go. Hi, friends. So now you can see my workspace, and that will make it a little easier to follow along. So I'm grabbing my materials, and I have those three sheets of paper that we had mentioned. Now, remember, if you don't have black, yellow, and white paper on hand, that's totally OK. You can use any colors that you have at home and readily available. I'm using black for the dark sky. OK, and I'm going to use some white for my rocket ship so that I can color it in and yellow for the stars. But remember, we have paints today. 
we have drawing utensils. So we have a lot of wonderful options for making our craft. Now, since we're making that moving rocket ship on our craft stick today, we need to start with whatever paper we're using for the sky, and we need to make a little cut in it. So let me show you how to do that. You're going to take the bottom corner of your paper, and I want you to lift it up and bend it, fold it, at a diagonal, just like that. So you're going to have this crease in your paper. We need to make a tiny cut here. We don't want to cut the entire piece of paper, just a slit in it. So we need to grab our scissors. Now friends, remember, if you are still working on your scissor skills, we can ask a grown up nearby to help us but we always want to be safe even when we're practicing with our scissors. So fingers on the bottom, thumb on top, open up the mouth, go chop, chop, chop. And we never put our fingers by the metal over here. We keep that away from our body. That's the part that just chops on the paper, right? So with that crease right there, you're just going to cut a little bit of the edge. Do you see that? And again, this might require a grown-up's help. And it's so nice to work as a team to accomplish things, just like the astronauts do, right? The astronauts have to work together. It's important to work as a team. So now I have this piece here that's cut off. And when I open up my paper, the white table makes it easy to see that I have an open space, see, right there. So when we get to making our rocket ship, that's where we slide it in for it to blast off through the sky, just like we did in our song today. So that's the first part, okay? But we need to decorate the sky and we need to create our own rocket ships. So there's a couple ways we can go about this. I'm going to grab a white piece of paper and I drew a big circle on mine. And you could do the same because I'm going to cut this shape out. I want to put this in the sky. Does anyone know what this big white shape might be? What is in outer space that you can see on Earth at night? You can let me know in the chat or you can shout it out. Yeah, I heard someone say it. The moon. Friends, I'm cutting out a big circle here. Oh, and I see you answering in the chat. Excellent. I love when you participate in the chat. It's the moon. I love to look at the moon at night. So I want to make sure that on my piece of art, I put the moon. So I created a big white circle for the moon. And I'm going to grab my glue stick, put some glue on the back, and press it down. I'm putting mine up in the corner. You do not have to follow where I put things. Space looks different from every angle, but so does our art, right? I tell you all the time that we are our own unique artists and we're going to create our own unique masterpieces every time. So I love that they look different. Now, I also took some of my yellow paper and I drew some smaller circles on it. And that's because I want to put some craters on the moon. Sometimes the moon can look like a piece of Swiss cheese. Have you ever seen cheese that has the holes in it? It's called Swiss cheese. And those are from craters, little holes on the moon. So you could either cut out some circles, okay, from your paper and put a little glue on your moon. 
and stick those down. Or you can use your paint or you can use your coloring utensils. So you have a lot of different ways. You don't even have to put craters on your moon. Just like that, okay? Now let me know if you're making a moon too and what are you using? Are you cutting out your moon with paper? Are you painting your moon? I would love to know the different art techniques that you're using today. There we go. Now you could also use your paint. And I know that there's something else that twinkles in the sky. And when we sang our song, we mentioned them. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Twinkling stars are shining bright, shooting past us on our flight. <gasps> what are twinkling in the sky? What twinkle in the sky? Twinkle, twinkle, little. Yes, stars. We have to put some stars in the sky. So again, we can create those so many different ways, friends. We can use our coloring utensils. We can cut out some shapes or we can paint. So I used yellow and white because against the black paper, it will make it look like it's nighttime with some shining stars. And just like some of you who are here for our amazing artist month, you know that we played around with color mixing. So right now I'm mixing some yellow and some white to make this pastel-y white. Looks a little bit different than the other two colors, right? So now I can have a lot of variety in my colors. I see in the chat that we said star, great job. So let's put some stars in our sky. And you can do that by placing some dots. You could make some lines. So look at this. If we do a straight line down and a line across, this is going to look like the letter T or the letter X, depending on the way the camera picks it up. And I'm going to put two lines across. Just like that. And now it's a twinkling star. Let's see. Oh, I see in the chat that one of our friends doesn't like nighttime. I wonder if you like daytime. Maybe you like the bright sun or warm weather. You don't have to like nighttime. That's true. We all have different likes and dislikes. That's what makes us so unique is the things that we like and don't like and our interests, right? And all the things we do. I see that you do. Are you saying you do like daytime? It's awesome. See, I love getting to learn about what makes us all so special and unique. Now, sometimes night can feel a little scary for some friends because it's dark. So maybe at home you have a night light that can glow in a dark space or a flashlight, right? I see someone's making a shooting star. What a clever idea. Just like in our song, remember? Shooting past us on our flight. I love that idea. You have inspired me to try and make a shooting star too. So I'm going to put these long moving lines from my star there and maybe put some yellow on it too. Look how that changes the color. Great idea to do a shooting star. Let me know what else you're putting in space, friends. Thank you for sharing your creativeness with me. Look how cool. Now, if you don't have a paintbrush and you don't mind getting a little bit messy, you could even put your finger in the paint like that. And you can press some stars 
onto your paper too. And that's going to give a totally different look. See that? You could press hard to make bigger ones and just softly to make smaller ones. And then when your fingers are uh, with a little bit of paint on them, you could ask for maybe a wet nap if you have one nearby, or you could go wash your hands. You could also make stars in the sky that way. So again, friends, you have so many ways to make these fun, creative space backgrounds. Oh, we made a letter H in the stars, like the constellations. That is another fantastic idea. Friends, do you know that the stars, depending on if you can, uh, the way that you look at them, some of them create like pictures in the sky They're called constellations. Can you say constellations? Constellations, it's a big word. And that's the way that you can pretend to connect the dots in the sky. So there's some known as the Big Dipper, and that kind of looks like a ladle in the sky. My favorite that I'm always able to see are three dots known as Orion's Belt. It's like pretending that those connect. If any of you like connect the dots, you know, where you have to follow the numbers. So I love that. I love that you made a letter H in the sky, maybe with your stars, maybe the stars connect and make a different letter or a different shape. That is so clever. We would love to see your art when you finish making them. So if you want to send in a picture to our Facebook or to our email, we would love to see the creations that you are making at home. So cool. Now, if you're still working on your sky, that's totally fine. You can keep working. I want to move on and show you how to make our rocket ship. And again, I'm just going to give one idea for a rocket ship. There are so many ways that you can make one too. So I'm going to scoot that just to the side for now. And I'm going to grab some paper. Now I'm gonna put yellow down just so you can see the white paper that I'm going to use. It'll make it a little bit easier. And I'm going to grab that craft stick. So if you have one of these, we're going to glue our paper and our shapes onto this. Okay, because remember that's how we make them. So fun. So let me show you one way of making some shapes to create a rocket ship. We are going to cut out a nice thick strip of paper. So again, we have to use our scissors and we're holding the paper in one hand, the scissors in the other, and we are pressing forward. If you need a grown-up's help, that is totally fine. And again, a great way to work as a team. <gasps> we added Saturn. You're putting planets in the sky. Oh, that is so cool. Is Saturn your favorite planet? What do you like about Saturn? Let me know in the chat. Now that we have this nice long strip of paper, I'm going to show you how to just cut out some simple shapes that we'll use today. So starting on the end here, if you go all the way down, I want us to make a rectangle. And I'm just cutting across. We're just cutting straight lines here. A great way to build some hand dexterity and our fine motor. But look at that. Just by practicing our straight lines, I was able to make a nice, big rectangle. Yes, it has rings. Yes, it does have rings. Oh, that is so cool. Saturn is an amazing planet. Thank you for sharing that with me. So cool. Now here with this, we could make a smaller strip of paper just by not going down as far. Look at that. Now I have this long rectangle, this really thin rectangle. See that there? 
And here, what am I left with? Four sides makes a square. So I could use the square or I could cut a diagonal shape in it and watch what I get next. When you cut a square in half, you get two triangles. Look at that, friends. Now, you could even take this triangle and you could cut it in half again. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut right up to the tip. <gasps> and look at that. I have two more triangles. That square was able to make triangles for me. So that's a handy way of taking a strip of paper to make rectangles, any size, squares, triangles. And then we have a whole bunch of shapes ready to go. I see in the chat that Luna loves looking at the stars. Oh, Luna, I love looking at the stars too. They're so beautiful, aren't they? Do you ever see any pictures in the sky, Luna? Do the stars ever look like anything to you? Let me know in the chat. Now, I'm going to show you how to take some of these shapes here and turn them into a rocket ship. So I'm going to make this rectangle a little bit smaller just so it can fit on camera a little bit better. There you go. Just so you'll be able to see. But let's start with our rectangle. And I'm going to take that triangle and I'm going to glue it on top. So I'm going to put a strip of glue and press that to the top. Now this looks a little bit like a house, <laughs> right? We have the rectangle and the triangle on top. Or it's a great start to our rocket ship. I see Luna uses an app to look at stars and constellations. Luna, that is so neat. Does the app show you where the constellations are in the sky? Connects them for you? That is really, really neat. I love that so much. Stars are the most beautiful sight. They certainly are. They certainly are. Now, do you see here, I'm taking the other two triangles I have, and I'm putting them on the side of my rectangle. And now these look like the wings of the rocket ship, helping us blast off. So I'm going to put two more strips of sticky glue, and I'm going to grab my triangles and press those down on each side and you can do them at any angle you want. They can be any shape you want. Look at that. So cool. And with that little strip that I had here, maybe I'll cut that a little smaller and I'll glue this at the bottom. And this is where the blast off happens, right? Where we see the flames that comes shooting out of the rocket ship that help propel it into space, just like that. Now look friends, using those simple shapes, we were able to create the shape of a rocket ship. And we're going to glue our craft stick onto the back. So flip it over, take your craft stick, put some glue on it there, and then we're going to press it onto the back. Remember with glue, we need to let it sit for a minute so that it can adhere, so that it can dry a little bit. So press, press, press. Now the glue stick works pretty fast, you see that? But if you're using liquid glue, you might need to leave it there for just a few minutes, okay? Now, when you flip this over, friends, you can decorate your rocket ship any way you want. You could grab those paints we were working on. You could grab your coloring utensils. I'm going to put some big windows on mine. That way the astronauts inside can look out the window and see 
all of the stars and the shooting stars and planets like Saturn, right? Luna said we can go to the moon. We certainly can. It's amazing that we're able to go to the moon. Luna, would you want to go to the moon? What about the rest of you friends? Would you want to go in a rocket ship to the moon? I think that would be so cool. Now look here, I'm just taking my markers and I'm creating different shapes on the wings. I'm making different shapes on the tip of the rocket ship. You can decorate these any way you want. You could color them. You can paint them. They might even look completely different than this one here. Let's put some smiling astronauts in ours. Oh, look at their smiling faces. So cute. Hi, friends. <laughs> Cole says that Cole would like to go to the moon. And see, Kay says, no, she would miss her family too much. That's so sweet. I would miss my family too. Maybe your family could go with you. That's an epic family vacation. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet that you love your family so much. Families are so special, aren't they? There we go. And I'm putting some yellow for the blast off there. So you can make these any way you want. Remember the other one that I made before class, I used different color paper and shapes. And it looks totally different than the one that I used with the cut out strips of paper. And I'm probably going to continue painting and coloring this in. So you could do it any way you want. Get some paint on it. You'll need to let it dry first. But get as creative as you want and make a spaceship that you are super proud of. I'm super proud of all your focus today and sharing your wonderful, wonderful thoughts and hearts with me. So thank you for being here. I know I say it all the time, but it really is my favorite day of the week getting to do this with you. Now, we're going to take our space that we created first and our rocket ships. And I'm going to switch the camera so that you can see this because this is my favorite part. So one second while I do that, and if you are still working, it's totally fine, keep working, take your time. I just want to show you the final piece here. So when you take your sky and already, Look it, I made both of these and they look so different. So again, yours will look completely different and unique and that is so cool. And then we can take our rocket ship. I'll use this one because it's easier to see on camera. And in the back, I want you to take your rocket ship, stick it inside the slit so that you can only see the stick in the back. Kind of like a puppet show, just like that. And when we turn it around, <gasps> look friends, we have a moving rocket ship flying through space. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, Climb aboard the rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! So fun. I love this activity. I love to sing our blast off song and get to create all the things that I think are in space and some of the things we know that are in space, but maybe we don't know everything. So definitely share with us your completed project if you feel comfortable doing that. We love getting to see what your little one has created.
connected at home. And as always, I just want to say thank you for being here and spending part of your Wednesday with me. I love doing these free live activity classes and we will continue to have these every Wednesday at 9.30 Pacific Standard Time. So again, please return if you enjoyed this. Let your friends know, the more the merrier. Um, and thank you again for all your participation in the chat. I love getting to hear all the things that your little one is thinking as we do these activities. Carly brought her puppy Teddy to the moon with her. What a sweet companion to take, how nice. Oh, this is so sweet. I really enjoyed today's activity and I hope that you all did too. Please join us again next Wednesday for a brand new theme and hope to see you there. Again, if you're interested in trying out our preschool, if you're not already a member and you're curious, reach out to our admin team. You can always set up a free trial class and we'd love to give you more information if you are interested. Either way, I hope you have the most wonderful day. I'm going to sing the goodbye song now and wish you all a wonderful rest of your week. There we go. I see some waving hands. Excellent job. Everybody wave and sing goodbye. Everybody wave and sing goodbye. Everybody wave and sing goodbye. Sing goodbye, goodbye, let's clap. Everybody clap and sing goodbye. Everybody clap and sing goodbye. Everybody clap and sing goodbye. Sing goodbye, goodbye, let's jump. Everybody jump and sing goodbye. Everybody jump and sing goodbye. Everybody jump and sing goodbye. Sing goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I hope to see you next Wednesday at 930 Pacific Standard Time. Hope you had fun today. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye, friends. Bye, everyone.